Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Look who's back, your favorite star of morning meeting. How are you today? Great. You're great. <laughs> I was telling Olivia that we're learning about opinions, and you have a lot of opinions about things, don't you? So opinion is what you think, right? We often have different ideas and think different things. So let me see. Olivia, do you like... Ice cream or cake more? Ice cream or cake more? Hard to pick sometimes, isn't it? When there's two good choices. Ice cream or cake? Ice cream or cake more? I kind of like ice cream the best. Okay. Do I like ice cream the best because because it's good for 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 when it's when 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 it's very hot outside exactly. then 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 it makes you it makes you calm right. and sweat. I like how Olivia gave it a, a reason why that was right. She said a because and then we understand her opinion more. Let's see, what do you like more? Cats or dogs? What do you think's a better pet, a cat or a dog? A cat. A cat? You know my boys and girls are writing like, cats I or like, dogs. I like cats because because dogs make lots of noise. Yeah, and you don't like loud when they yeah. bark. It scares but, you, right? But, but cats are kind of scary sometimes. Sometimes they can be when they kiss and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. but you know, it's, yeah. it's a bit of a tough choice. Yeah. Well, I think I like dogs best because I like to cook. Tuka is a dog and yeah. he's very nice. Right. He doesn't run back only when if you want to troll the ball. He gets excited, doesn't he? That... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's your anti stop Tuka, isn't it? Okay, last question. Do you like hmm, going to the mountains or going to the beach? What's your opinion? Ooh, going to the beach. Why? Is so, so nice and warm out. You, you just, you, you can even get some, some cold water. Drink it at the beach and then sit. And you can, you can, you can, you can relax. You can do sand castles and everything else. Yeah, that does sound super fun. I hope we get to go back to the beach soon. That's our favorite place to go in the summertime, isn't it? We go to the beach a lot, don't we? We take the train and we go to the beach. We always get ice cream when we go to the beach, don't we? Yeah. Okay, we need to do um, the problem of the day, Olivia. Today's Friday, May 8th. Let's see who is on the mystery card today. Do, 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 do. Oh, look who it is. It's Sihan. <laughs> Let's see Sihan's problem. Sihan has 10 football cards. Oh, no, sorry. He has football cards. They are in packs of 10. So when you buy them, there's 10 in each pack. He has four packs. How many cards in all? Do you hear that word, in all? So we're not going to subtract. We want to know how many cards all together or in all. So he has, he has packs of cards, and they come in groups of 10, and there's four in each pack. Okay. Libby's, can you move over a teeny bit? Okay. Perfect. Great. So let's think. Whenever I want to solve a problem in math, it's always smart to draw a picture. But imagine if I started drawing all of Zihan's cards. And remember, here's one pack. And I remember inside there was ten of each. Ten in each pack, right? Let's see. I could draw all of these. And I'm not going to spend time drawing the footballers on each card, any, any of that, because that would take forever. So look, that's only one pack. That's going to take me so long to draw. And in math, please stop. We know what the sound, okay? In math, we want to draw things fast. So instead of drawing all the little cards inside, I'm going to imagine this is a pack, and I'm going to put a big 10 on the outside. All right, and here's another pack. And there's also 10 in here. And another pack. And there's also 10 in here. And another pack. That's a lot of I know, it's a lot of cards. My goodness. Now, to make a number sentence for this, it's not just two things we're putting together, it's four. So we need four numbers to put together 10 plus 10. <laughs> 
plus wow. 10, plus 10. All of those tens. Now, actually, this might look quite tricky, but we've been counting by tens all year. So I know that you can find how many four tens are. Let's do it together. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. So there's 40 all together. If we count all the ones, one, two, three, four, there's four of them. Because actually, that's a 10. Four tens is the same as 40. How cool. All right, everybody, we're going to have a great day. You're going to finish up your cat and dog writing. Um, I can't wait to see all the reasons why you chose a cat or a dog. And some of you did all your writing yesterday. So if you want to write it with the other animal today, you could. Or we're going to have a thing um, on Fridays now called Ketchup and Mustard Day. Libby, do you like ketchup? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I do like some ketchup because some of them kind of, kind of. Are a bit spicy or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, ketchup and mustard is just a funny way of saying this is a good day to catch up on some things that maybe you didn't get to through us the rest of the week. So we have a little bit less to do, do new today, but lots of things from before that you can catch up with today. Do you get it? Uh, alrighty, everybody. Happy Friday and happy end of week seven. We are doing an amazing job. I miss you very much. Olivia, come over here and say goodbye to everyone. Bye. <laughs> Maybe you'll come and see them again on Monday, huh?